Hey guys, in this clip, we're going to be looking at solving absolute value equations through a different perspective, and that is the graphic perspective. There's a couple things we're going to have to discuss before we get started. And the first is that you need to know what the graph of an absolute value function looks like. And it just so happens that it looks like the letter V. And to find the tip or the point of this V, you need to take the expression inside the absolute value bars and set it equal to zero. And this will reveal to you where the tip is located. So looking at our first example, the absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to 3. We're going to start by focusing on the left hand side. This is an absolute value expression. Its graph is going to look like a v. And to figure out where the v is going to be, I'm going to set x plus 1 equal to 0. And I end up getting x equals negative 1. Now for the purposes of these problems, we're not actually going to solve for x. We did that in the last lesson. I just want to discuss how many solutions there might be, 0, 1, or 2. In order to answer this question, I want you to graph the left-hand side, which will be this v, whose tip is at negative 1. And then we'll graph the right-hand side, which is the constant 3, or y equals 3. The question you want to ask yourself is, do these two graphs cross? Do the red and green graphs cross? The answer is yes, they do, and it happens two times. It happens here, and it happens here. So this particular equation is going to have two solutions because the graphs intersect twice. Moving on to example number two, the left-hand side again is an absolute value expression. Its graph is going to look like a V. To figure out where the point of this V is, we're going to set the inside equal to zero. So this graph is going to be a V with a tip at zero. The right-hand side is the constant negative 2, or y equals negative 2. Its graph is going to be just a horizontal line passing through negative 2 on the y-axis. Well, I went a little too low there, but you can just imagine that goes through negative 2. Keeping the, the fundamental question in mind, where do the red and green graphs intersect, the answer here would be that they don't. So this has zero real solutions. In example 3, the absolute value of 5 minus x equals 0, we have on the left side an absolute value expression. Again, its graph is going to look like a v, and the tip of that v can be found by taking 5 minus x and setting it equal to 0, getting us a result of x equals 5. So we're going to have a v whose tip is at 5. The right-hand side is the constant 0, or y equals 0. This is going to be a horizontal line, passes through the y-axis at 0. It's basically the x-axis. The fundamental question would be, where do the green and red graphs intersect? Here they intersect at just one point, at the tip itself, right here. So this has one solution. In example 4, there's a little bit of a challenge added into this one. We start with the same process, though, by looking at the left-hand side and saying, hey, it's an absolute value equation. Its graph is going to look like a v. The tip of the v will be found by setting this equal to 0. 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. And getting a result of x equals negative 3. But this time, when we draw the v, it's going to have a little steeper appearance to it because of the 2 that precedes the x the slope of the two arms of the V will have a slope of 2 and minus 2 depending on the arm, which is going to make the V look a little bit stretched vertically. The right-hand side now is not a constant anymore. Now we've got the line Y equals X. The line Y equals X has a slope of 1. The arm of the V had a slope of 2, so this line is going to be less steep than the right arm of the V. So it's going to look something like this. Once again, we ask the question, where do the red and green graphs cross? And again, they don't. So we'll say zero solutions. Example 5 is a tougher question. It's got an interesting outcome. The left-hand side is going to be a V, whose tip is at 0. And the slope of each arm is going to be 1 and negative 1. Moving to the right-hand side, we've got negative x or y equals negative x. Asking where do the red and green graphs intersect, this happens at multiple locations. 
at the origin and all the points to the left of the origin. So it's not zero solutions, it's not one, it's not two, it's actually infinitely many. So we're going to have to describe this set of answers with set builder notation. So the answer is going to be x for all those x's that are less than or equal to zero. Now the extra challenge that at the end that I have for you is that I want you to get out a piece of paper and I want you to think about an absolute value equation that has exactly one solution and I want you to make one up of your own but I've got some restrictions for you. I want the left hand side to be a V so that's going to be something in absolute value and I want the right hand side to be a sloped line. How are you going to take the V and the sloped line and make it so that there's only one solution. That's what I'd like you to think about for tomorrow.